it's me, Missy, again. I want to describe for you um, the backyard of my home. It's really large. The soil there is so rich. I live in Arizona. Most people think Arizona is really flat, a lot of dust, like a desert, some tumbleweeds floating around. Well, let me tell you, that's not true. My backyard is really green and lush. There's a lot of trees everywhere. I have a fig tree, I have three lemon trees, I have a grapefruit tree, and I even have bamboo. It's 25 feet tall, I can't believe it. So how does my yard get so so green and beautiful? When I live in an area that requires irrigation, so every two weeks when it's my time, I open a, a pipe, a canal that's in of canal water that's in my yard, and I undo it and it fills the yard with water. So my yard will look like a lake. For a couple hours, the water will just sit there, and you can't drive on it, so I just walk out there, and you can close the valve to stop the water from running out. And that's how my yard got so green and lush and beautiful. So that leaves the soil really rich and filled with worms. So I decided I'm going to set up a little area and I'm going to have a garden. But what I didn't realize is gardening is really tough. I said to my husband, you know, I, I think I'm going to have a garden in the backyard. And he said, oh yeah, go ahead. And I thought, oh, this is so cool. I'm going to be a gardener, have a little garden. So we needed some more soil to kind of make a more raised bed. So I dug out the grass in that area of my garden and I put little wood planks all around the outside of it and I had to get all that grass out of there. And I rototilled the soil to make it um, just right for, for the gardening, so I got it all mixed up. And I had to order more soil from the garden store, and really it came in this huge truck. And it backed up, and put the conveyor up, and it all came down into my area. So the soil came out of the truck, and it was in a big pile, so I had a put it into the, my garden lot. So I did a lot of hard work and I dug that all off and got it into the garden spot. And now it was ready to put the seeds in it and I was so excited. So I'm a beginner gardener so I decided to start with four plants. I had lettuce, spinach, red pepper, and what was the last one? Oh, squash. I grew squash well. 
I grew squash as well. So on the package of the cat or the lettuce seeds, it wanted you to take one tiny little itty bitty seed and place it in a row, just one by one, one little seed. And I thought one little seed will just push up one little tiny head of lettuce. And I think lettuce is pretty easy to grow. So instead of putting just one little seed in each spot, I took the package and I sprinkled all the seeds out down the row. I did the same thing with the spinach. I took out little seeds one by one, went down the row, and I did the same with the red pepper. I placed them all in the little row one by one with the seeds. But the squash seeds, I remember my mother telling me that if you put the seeds too closely together, when the squash plant grew, the vines were really invasive and the squash just takes up a lot of space, so you need to spread them out. If not, when they grow, they'll just be all squashed together and it won't grow as, as correctly. And I remember my mother telling me that, so that's what I did. I spaced the seeds out so there was a lot of empty area around the seeds. And I also remember my mother telling me that you have to water every day with the sprinkler. Every day, watering it, watering it. And I also remember her telling me that you have to respect the seeds. And you have to talk to them and encourage them to grow. And that will help them grow better. And I, I remember that, so I won't forget that. There was one negative thing about the garden. It's that every morning I would see birds flying around and they'd swoop down in to try and take my seeds. And I realized oh, that's why farmers have scarecrows standing there like that to scare away the birds. But I know, I know the birds love the seeds and they would come down into the garden and peck them out and I'd always be out there chasing them out. And I would let my dog out from the backyard, out into the backyard and he would go chasing and chasing them and scaring off the birds so that kind of helped. So for two weeks I watched the garden and the squash didn't do anything. It's kind of disappointing. The red, uh, the red pepper was the same. There was nothing there. And But with the spinach it did pop up a little bit. Little sprouts started to, to grow and I was really excited about that. But the lettuce, oh by that time it already had grown in really well. So week after week, I watched to see if my plants were growing. And you know, the Arizona temperature is very consistent. It's very even. It's really easy to grow the spinach and the lettuce in Arizona. But you know, there was a thing that kind of hampered my, my garden growing. You know, the birds, the cats would get in there, and the dogs, and bugs too. The bugs just really wanted to grow, to crawl all over my plants. I know some people would tell me that bugs are good for the garden and I knew I didn't want to use any chemicals because I had an organic garden 
but I thought, how am I going to get all these bugs away without using any chemicals? And even the baby, the baby might be out in the garden. I wouldn't want her getting into the garden with all those chemicals there. And I thought, oh my gosh, this is really hard work. And I told my husband, I don't know what I was getting into. Being a, gar being a farmer is really hard. And my husband said, see, I told you, gardening isn't easy. You have to have big, strong hands. You have to accept that it's a really hard job. So for week after week, I watched my plants grow. And remember how I was telling you how I spread the seeds out for the, for the lettuce? It really came in. It was just filled with lettuce leaves all down the line. I was really a champ at growing lettuce, but you know what that meant? I had a lot of lettuce, so I had to eat it morning, noon, and night. Morning, noon, and night. Eating lettuce all day. And so I had so much lettuce, I had to give it away to people. So I was giving all my lettuce away because I had so much, I didn't know what to do with it. And everyone was telling me, oh, Missy, this is delicious lettuce. It's so fresh. It's fantastic. And the same thing with the spinach. A lot of it grew, and I just was eating that all the time, too. But with the red pepper, nothing grew. It was just all empty. I was kind of depressed about that. And then with the squash, one plant grew, and there was a squash on the vine. But when I went over to pick it, I noticed that the birds had gotten to it, and the squash had flattened. So now the gardening is all done and I've got a tarp over it to protect it and to encourage the worms to grow in there to make the soil better. And also I'm going to put a net over the garden so the birds won't be able to stay out. I'll show those birds. And so we'll see. Next year I'll try it again and maybe it'll be a success next year.